Did you know that you can save taxes when you employ your spouse? Well, usually people wouldn't do this because why should you pay a salary to your spouse? But believe me, from a tax perspective, it does make sense. If you want to know how, stay with me. Hi, my name is Alejandro from Contest Tax Service and you want to know how to employ your spouse and save taxes? This is what I will tell you today. Imagine you are self-employed and you have a spouse who helps you with sorting out some documents, sending emails or issuing invoices, then you would usually not pay a salary to your spouse. However, from a tax perspective, it does make sense because you can save taxes with it. Ancillary wage costs are usually lower than your personal income tax rate. The advantage of it is you can reduce everything, reduce your profit and save taxes. One more good thing is that the mini job does not have to be declared into your spouse tax return since you are paying the taxes for them. The threshold of such a mini job salary will be now increased by 1st of October 2022 by 520 euros before it was 450 euros. And one very important thing is please set up a contract with your spouse because you have to meet all the legal requirements. You pay the social security and taxes best on a flat rate and which is also not depending on your partner's individual income tax rate. You pay something between 20 and 33% of ancillary wage costs to the Bundesknappschaft, which is the collecting point for the taxes. This will be not the tax office itself. The percentage might vary depending on the insurances of your partner. Does it actually make sense for you to employ your spouse as a minute jobber? For this you have to look at two different numbers. The first number is your personal income tax rate. Below in the description you will find a calculator with which you can calculate it. This is important for you to know because it is a business expense for you and also decreases your tax burden. And the second number is the amount of the flat fee of the mini job. Also in the description below you will find the link with which you can calculate it. If the flat rate is smaller than your personal tax rate, then a mini job does make sense for your spouse. Now let's dive into an example. Imagine you have a partner and you want to employ them as a mini jobber for you. So you will pay 520 euros per month. First of all, you have to do the registration at the Bundesknappschaft. The ancillary wage costs, meaning the taxes and the social security contributions are amounting to 33%. So for the whole month, you pay in total 690 euros, which is 520 euros to your partner and the rest are taxes and social security contributions that you pay directly to the Bundesknappschaft. So in total, it's 8,280 euros, which is a business expense for you. Now let's assume your personal income tax rate amounts to 40% and then you have to pay 30% of 8,280 euros in taxes. This is equivalent to 3,312 euros per year. In this case, you won't have to pay this because it is already in your bookkeeping and considered as a business expense. Imagine you pay instead ancillary wage cost of 33% of 8,280 euros to the Bundesknappschaft. This is equivalent to 2,733 euros for the whole year. So in comparison, you pay 579 euros less in taxes if you employ your spouse as a mini jobber instead of if you were paying the taxes on your own with your individual income tax rate. Plus, you can also provide your spouse with equipment and this is a business expense for you. I hope that this video was helpful for you and now you know how to employ your spouse on a mini job basis. If you have any further questions, just drop a comment below. If you are looking for a tax advisor and you believe that we might be the right partner for you and you are a freelancer, we would be happy to hear from you. Click here if you want to retrieve more information about our tax services or click here and here if you want to watch more interesting videos from us.